Boston Whalers Conquest 345 features more than enough amenities to put a smile on the face of the most serious offshore fishermen. This is a boat with a split personality. From the cockpit to the cabin, it boasts a touch of luxury that rivals a comparably sized express cruiser. We tested the boat over the course of two days. Here are the results. Ron, yesterday we ran out through Ponce Inlet. One of the things I appreciated most about this boat was this enclosed hardtop full glass. We wanted to provide a helm area that provided great weather protection, fantastic visibility through, forward through tempered glass, but protected the occupants from the elements. And with this helm layout, we can open the center vent, get nice natural ventilation, or close it up when the weather gets bad and just really protect our occupants. How's that affect the rest of the crew? Well, we wanted everyone else to be comfortable in addition to the captain. For instance, the seat you're sitting in, that will slide inboard to create more shoulder room. But in the position it's in now, it's outboard creating a nice walkway to the cabin. One of the things we were talking about is you had to really focus on giving a little bit of a luxury side to this, but at the core, this still has to be a pretty serious fish boat. What are the some of the attributes we've got back here? We've got two large in-floor fish boxes that we like the position of them there because if you get a big fish on the boat and it's, it's really flipping around, you can open the lid, knock, knock it in it there, right and, and you don't have to worry about it falling off the side of the boat. You know, we know people are going to want to fish and you don't want your seats getting damaged, but when you want to be comfortable, they easily fold out. And some of that is thanks to some brand new hardware we just created uh, to make the seats very easy to deploy. Now let's take a look in the cabin. This island berth is easily accessed from three sides. Watching the 20-inch flat screen, hit a switch, and the power headboard raises to a more comfortable angle, although it would be more convenient if the switch was located closer to the head of the bed. To starboard, the settee converts to a bed by simply lowering the cockpit table into port. A spacious galley includes a combination microwave coffee maker, two-burner stove, refrigerator, and plenty of storage space. In the head, you'll find a vacuum flush toilet and both a vent and AC to keep things from getting steamy. And forget the classic claustrophobic mid-cabin berth. Whaler offers an open, sunken sitting area that's great for the kids. The 345 sharp entry makes for a soft ride in rough conditions. The hull carves exceptionally well in and out of corners and holds its line through offshore breakers. Digital throttle and shift also provided smooth control of the trio of Mercury Verados on the transom. While those engines provided plenty of power, pushing the boat to a top speed of 49.5 miles per hour, I worried they may suck down the fuel. It wasn't an issue. At a comfortable 32 mile per hour cruising speed, we burned a respectable 38.9 gallons per hour. That equates to 0.84 miles per gallon while pushing over 18,000 pounds. Now, Whaler's got a reputation for unsinkable construction. Are you able to bring those same construction methods to the bigger boats? Yes, we can. Like our small boats, this boat is built using our unsinkable unibond construction, where we've got an outer fiberglass skin, an inner fiberglass skin, that is then filled with a foam core. What do they do for the ride? Well, from a ride perspective, because the, the hull and the inside of the boat is connected by foam, it creates a very solid structure, which you feel when you're running the boat. It also dampens sound because we don't have hollow cavities within the hull to act like a drum and transfer sound. This is one of the larger deck hatches I've seen. Yeah, it is, and we did that for a reason. We wanted to provide easy access for maintenance, serviceability, so you can get to all the pumps and components very easily. And it also keeps a lot of the noisy stuff away from the sleeping area in the cabin. Yeah, that's correct. In addition to the location, our thick hatch and insulation from Unibon create a very quiet boat. Once you close this hatch, the sound of the generator and all the pumps virtually disappears. Is this the ultimate 35-foot luxury fishing boat? That's up to you to decide. But by catering to the hardcore angler, while still giving the amenities to those who want to cruise and entertain, I think Boston Whaler has created a versatile all-around performer.